Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm GaffTheMaster974 back again today doing another Valve Source Code tutorial follow-up video. This time around I'm going to follow up on the Stunstick tutorial that I did. As it turns out I inadvertently broke MetroCop functionality when I made the video. So I have to give a big ups thank you and shout out to Mazdo for pointing this out to me in private DMs. So let me outline some of the issues that you'll have with the Stunstick and Metro Cops in your mod if you followed my tutorial and the way that I chose to do it. Now first of all you'll end up with missing animations so Metro Cops won't exactly attack you all of the time. So they kind of just, I don't know, a pose and don't really attack you. And even if that were to be fixed, if you were to load a level like D1 Train Station 04, right before you meet Alex you're supposed to get ambushed by Metro Cops. And as it turns out, you'll just be getting beaten on endlessly because, you know, the stun stick just doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. It doesn't trigger Metro Cop outputs as it's supposed to. And you end up getting soft locks. You get stuck, getting beaten down forever, and you have infinite health so you don't die. And it's a whole shit situation to be in. So I'm going to point out how to fix both of those issues. So for missing animations, what you want to do is load weaponstunstick.cpp. And if you follow my tutorial, you should see a bunch of HL2MP related animations there. And you want to add inside of curly brackets, and as I show in the video, act melee attack 1, act melee attack swing and true. And then on another line inside of curly brackets as well, act idle angry, act idle angry melee and true. So that just fixes the Metrocop animations. So that would be in the actable or act table, I guess. And next up, we want to go into operator handle anim event. And we're going to see an if p hurt section. And so after our C base player asterisk p player equals two base player and then p hurt definition, we want to add cnpc metro police called asterisk p cop, which equals dynamic cast and then inside of less than and greater than signs cnpc metro police asterisk and then inside rounded brackets after those less than and greater than signs p operator as shown in the video and then after this what we want to do is after a ball called b flashed equals false we want to add if p cop does not equal null and p player does not equal null then we're going to add another if statement. So if P cop arrow should knock out target of P hurt, then we're going to create a float called your kick, which equals random arrow random float of minus 48 and minus 24. Then P player arrow view punch of Q angle of minus 16 your kick and two. Then create a color 32 called white, which is inside of, you know, curly brackets. 255, 255, 255, and surprisingly 255. And then do a util screen fade of P player white 0.2F, 1.0F, and then F fade out, then vertical line F fade purge, and another vertical line, and then F fade stay out. Then B flashed equals true, P cop arrow knockout target of P hurt, and then break. And then after this, if P cop should knock out target if statement, you want to add else, and then P cop arrow stunned target of P hurt. So if that sounds like a lot to follow along with, then don't worry. If you go to Valve's GitHub page, they already have the stunstick code working as it's supposed to. So if you were to go to the single player branch, then SRC, and then navigate to the server side and HL2, you should see weaponstunstick.cpp. I'll leave a link in the comments and the description so you can go there. And these code fixes are already there. You just need to navigate to the point of the code that I pointed out. And then that should be there. So it should be a simple copy paste job. And that kind of makes this tutorial kind of useless. But I did want to point out the fact that my tutorials may inadvertently break functionality, which is completely unintended. And that's not what I want to do. I'm supposed to be helping you, not screwing you over. So it's a lesson to me, you know, to not actually go ahead and copy, replace and do stuff like that in the tutorials. So please let me know what you think. Thanks to Mazdo again for making this tutorial happen, or at least this follow up video happen. And I know there's a very lengthy follow up to the slam that I want to do, which I've been putting off for quite a long time. And hopefully it's a lot better than this video. 
So please let me know what you think in the comment section down below and hopefully I'll see you again very soon for another video. So take care out there everyone and see you later.